reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of it. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Wow. Side control now, and certainly I would think so. Not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Strike there from the bottom, nicely done by Lee. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the back. Now watch as he goes to the... Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Oh, well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. The American is 31. The Brazilian is 43. He weighed in at 231 pounds. He will have a five inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 9 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 231 pounds. 
fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Fabrizio Bancavallo. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. attempt but unable to land I mean can you imagine having a reach advantage like this what a luxury it's a luxury I've never had one over the course of my entire career but fighting guys that are taller you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage this guy is going to try and use this tonight the left hand is true that will absolutely work he throws it like a piston back and forth he's landing that beautiful left hand Gets the elbow up into the target. Oh, nice job to reverse the blow. Pretty good entry there, and he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Look for him to posture and use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. My triangle, my triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finisher position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Wow. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, I can break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. Big ball from punch lands. Now we get back to range. Let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. 
he is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking them down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. All right, so he's landed some good shots. He hate to be over but nothing really in terms of combinations. And an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, side control now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions. And All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off after several failed attempts. He finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Verdum's got the full mount. Just over two minutes now to go. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lou. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Verdun gets hit with a kick. Oh, collar tie. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. And he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the... Oh, he might have got it with a choke. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Pick the pace up this round, and I want you... All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up.
up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 54 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner of 